Hi guys, welcome back for another one. Today's video is how to get Dr. Voodoo for four stars for free. Yes, I'm kind of rushing this one out because we did not get a really good heads up with Spider Punk last time. And I'm kind of expecting the same thing with Dr. Voodoo. His offer started about four or five days ago. I'm fully expecting his event campaign to start this Friday as most event campaigns, actually pretty much all event campaigns start on a Friday. Now for those that just want to know how to do it and they don't want any additional information as to why you should do this i'm going to get into it before i hit the intro and those of you guys that are new mid game especially those free to play and you want additional information on why is event campaigns are so important to try to take advantage of i'm going to explain more after the intro so for those of you guys who just want to know how to do it it's simple you want to make sure you're using your campaign energy as quickly as possible and not letting it set full you also want to make sure you log in three times a day to claim all the free energy you can get. Then on top of that, you want to make sure you're using your 50 core refreshes four times on campaign energy, not campaign nodes, campaign energy. And you want to farm from the hardest node whole way down the line. And if you have remaining energy left over, just go to the hardest node in the medium campaign and start farming there. And if you like to press your luck for a five star, you can almost guarantee it. RNG is still a thing. If you do all 100 core refreshes also, that's four of them. And if you would like to see if you can just have some really good RNG, you could just do the 100 core refresh twice. And if you get above an average drop rate, you will get yourself a five-star Dr. Voodoo. Now, all that explained, if you guys want more, why you should do this and so forth, I'm gonna get into it right after the intro. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. Now, like I said, during the intro, uh, during spider punk, they did not give us a countdown timer for it. I think we got like a 24 hour notice and that was it. And it didn't give me a lot of time to get a video out there for you guys. So I'm making this video in advance, expecting them to do a similar thing with Dr. Voodoo. Hopefully give you guys time to build up for this event. If you're really interested in what I'm saying. So when his event hits, there will be three different difficulties, easy, medium, and hard. Now in the latest dev blog, they did say they're going to increase the difficulty where the, where the current hard will become medium. They did not say it was going to start during the Dr. Voodoo event. So I'm under the assumption that it will start in a future event campaign and not this one. However, it's scopely every cards on the table, but I'm going to assume for the sake of this video, that things are not changing. The hard requirements are level 60 and a gear tier 11 or 12 with at least your abilities being 6664. And like I said during the intro, you must be able to clear the hardest campaign for this method to work to guarantee yourself a four star Dr. Voodoo. And also start saving your power cores if you haven't done so already. And now the characters viable for this event, in case you don't know where to go find them, if you go to your filter, your roster, find the spirit slayer tag, select it, and then you'll see every character that's viable to use in this campaign. The other thing to also can factor that I can't show you right now, because it's not in the game, is that there will be an orb tied to this event campaign where you can possibly get shards of Dr. Voodoo plus majority of these characters shown here. There are only a few that are not, and I'll get into that here in a little bit. So in some of these cases, even if you don't get the feature character of the orb, there are other characters that you could get, especially if you're new in mid game, you don't have most of your roster maxed out yet that you could use in future content. Now for this event, if you have this team or these characters unlocked, this is what I highly recommend to use. Ghost Rider, Elsa Bloodstone, Mordo, Hela, and Thanos. Uh, I put them in the order that I would probably position them, though I didn't spend a whole lot of time thinking about this. I mainly want to make sure that Thanos was beside Hela on the end where he could feed energy to her every time someone's knocked out. And then try to time Mordo's blinds or Ghost Rider's defense downs and have Hela spread them. And if you need some help in this campaign, make sure you are applying the healer ISO. Once again, this event campaign was set up way before there was ISO in the game, so none of the characters you're facing have it. It's a huge advantage, especially using healer ISO on beginning content when that stuff did not exist. If you have a character well developed, uh, you may not even need to go this route. But if you're someone who's just now building those characters level 60 for this event, definitely make sure you're using ISO and especially the hero healer if you don't have a way of healing your characters. Also, two other characters you could probably use also have the mystic tag would be like cloak 
Loki, or Moon Knight. All of them great options to sub in uh, if you don't have the team of five that I recommended. Now let's go back to that orb where I said every character that you can use for this event will be in the orb. Well, these falling characters will not be in the orb. And actually I just realized I put Dr. Voodoo on this list and actually that's a lie. He'll be in the orb because he's the featured character. So ignore that. Uh, but Morbius, Ghost Spider, Ebony Maul, Magic most likely will not be in the orb. Well, Morbius and Ebony, not, Ebony Maul will definitely not be in the orb. Uh, Magic and Ghost Spider, they could be generous and put them in, but usually they're not generous. So I'm not expecting them to be in the orb. Now, why I recommend going hard for this event campaign is because you can get Dr. Voodoo, if you're a new player, at four to five stars for free. It gets you a brand new character that has stats up there with the current meta that outperforms 80 to 70% of the characters in this game. And with Dr. Voodoo being a hero mystic character, he's going to be useful in a lot of campaigns. But anyways, another reason. One, some of these tunes, if you pull my orb, help unlock legendaries that you just passively get shards for. Wolverine and Storm help unlock Magneto. Heimdall, Loki, Hela help unlo unlock Black Bolt. Hela, Loki, Nobu, and Mordo help unlock Phoenix. And then just announced Ghost Rider and Elsa Bloodstone. If you're going to be pushing the Scourge event, it looks like they are going to be needed possibly to unlock Pestilence. From what the devs explain, you're going to be able to do the event without them and lower difficulties. But do you really think you're going to be unlocking the legendary if you do so? I'm just throwing that out there. Now, all this that I explain in this video from the intro to the end is one, how you do this campaign to get a four star character and possibly five star. And then the second part was telling you why, if you're in a position as a new and mid game player trying to catch on this game, why you should absolutely be going hard for every event campaign until you catch up to the end game. And with that said, if you guys enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and haven't done so already, hit that subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss any videos in the future. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.